Okay, before we get started, make sure you grab your iPad number that belongs to your seat and your stylus number that belongs to your seat as well. So they should be the same. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use the note-taking app to draw over pictures. So this is particularly for the jack-o'-lantern example. So what you're going to do is first click on Safari and then in the search bar, type in pumpkin and hit search. And then click on images and just find a good image of a pumpkin. Like this one would be good because you want to make this look like a jack-o'-lantern. It could be a realistic one or like I like this one that's like a painted cartoony one. So once you have your image there, you're gonna press and hold until this menu comes up and click add to photos. Now after that, you can double check that it's in your photos. So click photos and yes, that pumpkin's there. So we're good to go. Now I'm gonna click on the note taking app. So it's right here, click notes. And then we wanna hit new. So it's this little button up in the corner, click new. And then the next button you need to click is the camera down here. This is to open up a picture. So you gotta hit that camera, hit photo library, hit all photos, and then you can find that little pumpkin picture that you saved. After that, you wanna double click on the pumpkin picture. And so it brings it up to center. You should see like the image name up there. And then up in this corner where you see it's like the point of a pencil, you're gonna click on that. And now we can start drawing on our pumpkin. So down here um, is where my menu is for my um different tools I can use. Yours might be hidden. So you can see there's this option on these three dots that says auto minimize. So I can turn that off and this will stay. Or if I keep it on, it'll keep going away um, in case I need that room. So I'm gonna turn that off. And now this first tool is just a general pen tool. And I want to make this look like a glowing jack-o'-lantern. So I'm gonna start with yellow, but I want more of an orangey yellow. So I'm gonna come over here, choose that color. Mm. Maybe I'll go actually brighter. I want brighter, right there. And now I'm gonna go ahead and draw my little jack-o'-lantern face. You can draw yours however you want. And I'm gonna speed up this process so you can see what you could do next. Some things I forgot to mention, if you want to generally just undo a mark you made, just click this little button right here. If you want to just erase part of it, click right here. Click it twice. If it says object eraser, it's gonna get rid of the whole thing. If you um, click pixel eraser, it's just gonna be like a little circle tool that you can erase like that. So that is how you erase. So once you've got the basic um, design of your jack-o'-lantern, you can go to a darker color. I'm gonna show you how to add um, a little bit of shadow. This is gonna make it look slightly more 3D, slightly more realistic. So we're just choosing one side of each of our sections to draw like a little line like that. I'm gonna speed this up again so you can see the finished result. Again, this is totally optional. It just depends on the look you're going for. Okay, so here's a finished example of a jack-o'-lantern. So remember the whole purpose of this is to get you practicing using the stylus and to get used to this app. So you don't have to do it exactly like this, but just play around with it, see what you can do. When you're done, if you want to save your artwork, click on this um, arrow with a box around it up here and you can click save image and then from there, you can open up Safari and go to your Google Drive, so drive.google.com, and then just like you'd upload photos with um, your the iPad for projects, you'd upload that photo the same way. And that is it.